Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. And let me know how it goes. Theorem 8-2, when the altitude of a right triangle is drawn, it becomes the geometric mean of the two newly formed parts of the hypotenuse. All right, let's see what that means. This altitude, which we're going to call AD, is drawn from the right angle down to the hypotenuse, creating another right angle. So AD is the altitude. All right, the geometric mean is a proportional relationship which we've talked about in class. That means that you can write a proportion based on the geometric mean. Now if I wanted to know how much the altitude was, since it's the geometric mean, it would go in the lower left and upper right parts of this proportion. If BD is created when I draw that altitude and it is five inches wide from B to D, and if DC actually happens to be 20, then of course the question is, what's the altitude? Remember that this only happens in a right triangle when you draw the altitude. So, if the altitude is the geometric mean between the two newly formed parts of the hypotenuse, that of course is BD and DC, then we can write a proportion and putting the x's in the geometric mean position. So, 5 would go above the x, and the 20 would go below the other x. Now we solve by cross multiplying, x squared equals 100 and of course x equals 10 when we find the square root. Alright, how did you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.